All right, guys, welcome back to Sativa Life Podcast. We're here with Swiss Army Knife of Comeback Sports, <laughs> Mr. Nelson Lopez Jr. Thank welcome, you, thank you, Nelson. thank you, thank you, thank you. Nelson, quick question. We're talking behind the scenes, and uh, what is actually your title? I mean, you do a lot of things, but what is your title? Um, I mean, a little bit of a little bit of everything, like you said, but um, I've, I've evolved into become a, a promoter for BKFC, a partner, you know, um, international distribution of, of content, and also just development of the business from the bottom to the top, you know, from amateurs all the way to the knuckle manias. Well, you guys are doing an amazing job. I know you're involved with getting the fights together, and you do an amazing card. Every card just gets better and better and better. Thank you. This Prospect Amateur Series is crazy. Uh, I was asking um, Mr. Little Search, uh, Agent 007. <laughs> no, I was asking him some questions, and he was pretty good at that, but I want to ask you other questions. Okay. Like, on your involvement, but how do you see what you guys are doing? How is this going to take it to the next level, the Prospect Series? Um, you know, this, this Prospect Amateur is is a platform where it's it's almost like a it, it's just set up for the amateurs to be treated like pros exactly you know there's there's a there's a there's a big there's a there's a different environment in the pros and i think that is a very it's almost like a, sh a shocking uh reaction that when you hit the pros and 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 you have to do this and you have to be on time and the medicals and and you got to sell tickets and you you know this is kind of like a platform where it's like here you go Let's practice. You know, let's learn how to promote. Let's 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 practice how to. Um, In other words, they're doing pretty much everything, almost like an amateur. I mean, like a pro. Like, I'm like sorry. a pro. They're getting their flyers. They're getting posters. They're getting their content. They're getting their interviews. They're letting people know who they are. You know, um, promotion sometimes bigger promotions sometimes focus on the bigger names. Of course, right? Bigger promotions wait for that superstar to become a superstar. And then take them to the next level. Um, a superstar can be can be found way before. Exactly. Right? Um, it's just that they're not known. You as a trainer, me as a trainer, notice the superstar in the gym, know his character, know his personality, know what he, his ability before anybody knows. If we can develop this platform where they can showcase that with their content, with their promotions, with their skills, treat it as a pro. Maybe they're not getting made, paid or getting money yet, but they're going to get they're, the exposure. They're getting they're the exposure. Get the experience. After Absolutely. this event, I told all the fighters, I said, I'm going to tell you this. No one called you to fight on BKFC or fight professional on some other promotional company. But after tonight... I promise you'll get a phone call. Remember where you came from. Remember who put the platform down for you. Remember the, the trainers that actually put in the work when for you were free, fighting for, for free. free. For free. That's the thing. For yeah. when you go get the contract to get paid, remember who helped you. And and, and that's what that's how it is. Um, you become attractive when you got a dollar sign beside you. Uh, I, I've, I've already done this so long. That, that was my next question. How long have you been involved in martial arts in general and in BKFC? I, I grew up in this. I, I grew up in boxing. You know, I, I, I took I did my first amateur fight at eight years old. Oh wow! My father is in the Florida Hall of Fame as an international promoter. We've done events from Kazakhstan to Russia um, with the with the governments. Wow! Um, Colombia, Azerbaijan. You know, we have relationship with China to do events. We've done it internationally just, just because that's how we were getting exposed to, to that. You know, we didn't, we didn't have the competition. We didn't, we didn't make competition here in the U.S. unless you had a network. Of course. So we went out. I, I, we didn't mess with that. We went out internationally to show what we can do there. And we brought fighters from there to the U.S. So I applied that to BKFC. I applied that to Dave Feldman. Apparently, Dave Feldman saw my value in, in fighter development and business development and then just exposure internationally outside of the U.S. Listen, people think that because of social media, it's easier. I totally disagree. It's more challenging. You need to prove yourself even more. Just because social media is out there, anybody can get involved. And what you guys have done, to me, it's just another level. You know, social media is, is a beautiful platform to promote your brand. But 
not only did it make it maybe a little easier, it made it competition accessible, accessible to anyone. It made There's, competition you, that you have better. to prove yourself a hundred percent. So now you have the young the young generation that know how to do social media on their phone, and you have a marketing company that used to do marketing back in the day for Don King that doesn't have no idea how to market an event now. And I'm gonna tell you this. Wow. The reason why boxing has failed, and I hate to say it, yeah, it's because it's finish. my love. I'm a boxing fanatic. You know, I, I, it's sad that I had to apply everything I learned in boxing into another sport because I couldn't excel or apply it there. Boxing, promotion, and marketing remained archaic. Wow. It didn't evolve. Same system. It, it, there has to be a change. And you know, BKFC did it. You guys have done an amazing job. I mean, BKFC has been around now for maybe, what, five years, four years? David Feldman has been no, around. No, he's been longer, but I'm saying David Feldman the company had, itself. He told me he about this way. idea 10, 12 years ago. Exactly. And we walked in offices where when he walked out, the people in that office laughed at him. So, and, 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 and there's nights where I know he called me and said, it's just too hard to do this. It's not going to work. And then next day he goes, let's go. And Florida, Florida blessed us with, with the opportunity, really. Uh, you know, the commissions were, were, were open to see what, what we could do. My question was going to be, who was the first state that opened up for BKFC to do their thing? Uh, Arizona okay. was one of the states that, one of the initial states that I wasn't there involved in that. Um, at that moment, I think John McCain or something was was a representative of the state, and uh, he actually shut it down. He was like here in Florida, in in, in Arizona. In Arizona, shut yeah, it down. They shut. Okay. And, and I think that it just we, we he realized that it was going to be a challenge. Um, you know, some states we did a thousand fights before anything, and we took data, we took statistics. You know, we had neurologists, orthopedics. We had we had statistics, we had numbers. Numbers yeah, don't yeah, lie. Exactly. You know, and based on the number, the long term um, damage was a little less. So it, it was accepted, and all we needed was one to accept. So the first state was Arizona that, that accepted it. That they did it. I think it was more like an underground. <laughs> <laughs> well, but, but you but guys were yeah, able to. Yeah. That, like, the first BKFC fight from BKFC. Yeah. Was he, he, um, there was some fights in Philly. Okay. You know. But the most, the state that really, really gave us the most love was was Florida. Obviously, we, we started here. We did we do eight, seven, eight shows here a yeah, year. You guys are here all the time. You know, and and we've developed superstars here. You know, and 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 that's what this is about. Like I don't want it to die out. No, I, no, I, I see. It's impossible. I see young kids that yeah. have five, six, seven, eight amateur fights, and they're still questioning: Should I do it? Should I do it? I said, Look, let's try it. Let's try the rules. Let's try the rules with, with a seven ounce glove. Let's see. You know, let, 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 let's see if, we, if you like it. Let, let's adjust. It is a different skill set. It's, it's not the same. How many states are you guys in right now? Um, legally, right now, we're about 13. 13 to 20. Uh, we've opened up Georgia, okay. Oklahoma, and there's a couple other ones I don't want to say yet because I'm not sure, but I'm sure. we're, we're, we're a- approved by the ABC Commission. Which governs all the states. Okay. And that was the main thing. They 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 accepted the rules and regulation. They shook Dave Feldman's hand and said, Welcome to Combat Sports Family. Wow. So now it's up to every state to say, You're welcome here. Let's try it. No, and you guys are bringing revenue. You're creating, you know, getting kids off the streets. It doesn't matter what. Combat Sports always helps out with the younger generation to, you know, give them a platform, something they want to do in the future and get them involved. Absolutely. I mean, that, I think that's what it's all about, really. <clears throat> I mean, that's the real purpose is uh, if you're doing it with a good purpose like this to, to help kids get another opportunity or help even just fighters that couldn't box or couldn't do MMA and this might be an outlet for them, then that's the real purpose. The money comes later. <laughs> I, agree. I agree. The money comes later. If you do what later. you're passionate, yeah. the money will come no matter what. And, and, you know, honestly, a show like this is a lot more fulfilling to me. You know, it is, it I, is. I, I really enjoy it's it. It's like college football, right? Or college basketball. Yeah, and you know, it's just... They're working. They're, they're fighting for something. Number one, these kids, man, they're fighting 
for no money. They don't even know who they're, they're fighting. fighting for themselves. Yeah, like they, this, these are real fights. These guys are fighting for their life and their and their future. Sometimes they, what, do they, how, how much time do they have notice of the who the? I mean, we're, is? We're, we're trying to give them as much time as possible, like like a like a, like any kind of combat if, sports. If, if a fight falls through, like one of the opponents it gets injured, do you replace him immediately? You try to obviously. The beautiful thing is that our tryouts give us a good amount of fighters that are ready to fight. You know, so how many I, how many of the trials, give or take? Um, we have a lot of registered. I'd okay. say about, if we get 300 registered, wow. we'll get a 10, 15% of them show up. But a tryout with 30 people is, is a good tryout. There's, there's quality people. And and if you get five pros, you look at them, you see if they're worthy to fight on the big stage, and you get 10 amateurs, you know they can go here. And if you have some pro and pros that maybe they still need development, they can go into the BKFC prospect, which is a pro ami show. The tonight we're doing strictly amateur. Well, Nelson, I won't take any more of your time. I know you have an event to to uh, take care of. And uh, man, thanks for your time. Yeah. One one question: How do you personally see Sativa as helping you and the fighters that you've been involved with, in, in you know, in the treatments and so on? I mean, so first of all, Sativa is is family. Like, I think Thank we you. started and and you guys. You guys came on board and just was basically, we got your back. And that's that's a beautiful thing because there's a lot, when when there's when, when something new pops, there's a lot of people that jump on the, on the coattail and, and they're just looking for, what can I get from them? What can I get from them? And man, I already never asked for nothing. You know, it's like, how can how can I give? How can I help? What do you need? You This fighter, this fighter... This, It's like the, you guys been a really uh, a blessing, and I really appreciate Artie. I appreciate him and everything he's done. And and, and it's, it, that's those are the kind of relations we have. Sometimes it's it's about enjoying the work, enjoying the work environment. You know what I mean? And enjoying that the the, the money comes, the success comes. But if you go to work and you hate your job, yeah, absolutely, I agree. <laughs> you're it's miserable. Not, yeah. yeah, you're it's, not. It's yeah. the journey. You it's want not to the work destination, in, it's the journey. Enjoy the journey. Enjoy the, you want to enjoy the journey. You want to look at the clock and go, uh, I got to oh, wow. go home. I got to go. I want to go. <laughs> yeah. Listen, every time they tell me there's a BKFC fight, I mean, I'm covering up for somebody. Yeah. I do some of the interviews, but they were coming like a day ago. It's like, can you, can you, can I what? I'm there. I know. That's it. You know, the only, the only thing that, that can make me stop is my babies and, you know, the wife, you know, they don't like when you're on the road, but... <laughs> But hey, you know, you're doing it for the wife and for the baby. So. You gotta do everything. Absolutely. They come, they gotta come to the show. Absolutely. <laughs> hey, thanks again. No, thanks thank for you. allowing us to be part of the PKC family. So take care. Hey, I appreciate it. Thank you. God bless. Thank you.